What's up, everybody? This is John from Coding Addict, and welcome to a Redux Toolkit tutorial video. And as far as the elevator pitch for Redux Toolkit, essentially, Redux Toolkit is good old Redux, just with batteries included. Meaning, unlike traditional Redux, all the useful packages are by default part of Redux Toolkit. So instead of wasting our time on annoying boilerplate setup, we can right away get to work. During the tutorial, we're going to build this card application. And in the process, we'll see all the cool features of Redux Toolkit in action. So things like store, slice, reducers, action creators, and of course, create async thunk. As far as the requirements, if you have not worked with Redux before, my expectation is that you are at least familiar with use reducer hook, since they share a bunch of common terms and syntax. And just in case you need a refresher on use reducer, in the description of this video, I'll leave a link to my React tutorial video where I cover use reducer in great detail. If you prefer learning by building a bunch of cool projects and enjoy my teaching style, you can find all my courses at johnsmilk.com. Again, the site you're looking for is www.johnsmilk.com. In order to follow along, you will need a star and you can find it in this GitHub repo. So look for my profile, John Smilga, and the actual repo name is Redux Toolkit Tutorial. Again, the name of the repo that you're looking for is Redux Toolkit Tutorial. And once you get here, just pick the option that makes the most sense to you. I think in my case, I'm going to go for download zip option. Then I want to crack it open. And in the folder, you'll find two more folders, the final as well as the starter. And needless to say that in the final one, you'll find the complete source code. And then in the starter is where we'll do all of our work. So let me take this sucker out. Let me open up the text editor. Visual Studio Code. I'll right away set it side by side. Now this is a standard React application. I used Create React App. The only difference is that I removed some boilerplate code and I also added some resources. So in here, what we want to do is run npm install and also npm start. So npm install, npm start, and there is an app. So at the moment, notice there's only heading two. We have some car items, which we'll use in the beginning as our data, and also a few icons. I'll discuss them a little bit later. Index CSS, all our CSS, and also, of course, index JS. So once you get the repo, once you get the star, install all the dependencies, run npm start, you should see in the browser a heading two with I believe it was Redux Toolkit. And if you do, we're in good shape and we can proceed to the next step. In the star, you'll also find a readme file where I laid out all the steps we're going to take as well as some useful links. And first, if you want to find more info about Redux Toolkit, you can always utilize this link. So this one goes directly to their docs. And we have few ways so we can add Redux Toolkit to our project. First, we can go with straight up template. So in that case, instead of going npx create react app, and then the app name, we also add this hyphen hyphen, and then template and Redux. Now from my experience, they add way too much boilerplate. So essentially, I always avoid that. And in general, I just go with the Redux Toolkit. So I set up the application, let's say with create react app, and then install the toolkit separately. And we do that with npm install, and then at redux JS, and then forward slash toolkit. And also we'll add react redux. And I'll talk about it in a second. Now, let me just quickly mention that if for some reason, you get some issues when you just run npx, create React app. And again, 
it's not specific to this template one. If something goes bananas with NPX, you can always try to go with create react app, and then the latest one. So this is just a side note. Now back to the toolkit. So when we install Redux JS toolkit, we actually install few libraries. So we install the Redux, which is going to be our core library. We also install Immer, which is going to allow us to mutate the state. We install Redux Thunk, which will handle the async actions. And also we install Reselect, which will simplify the reducer setup. So these things, of course, will only make sense if you already have worked with Redux. So this is already provided for us. And of course, we'll see all of those things in action. And if you didn't work with Redux before, don't worry. Of course, I'll explain all of them. And also as an extra, we get right away Redux DevTools and also combine reducers right from the get go. Again, if you haven't worked with Redux, I totally understand if none of those things make sense, but don't worry, we'll talk about them later. Now, why we also install this package, the React Redux? Well, you see, Redux can be used with any front end framework. It's not specific to React. And in order to connect our application to the Redux, this is where we'll use the package by the name of React Redux. Now, needless to say, that of course, if you'll take a look at the package JSON, you will see the both packages, you'll see the toolkit as well as the React Redux. But just so you don't think that there is some funny business going on, let me copy this line of code. Let me install both packages. And once the install is complete, we can start setting up our Redux store. So the install is done, we go with npm start. And if we take a look at the package JSON, you will find the toolkit as well as React Redux. And with this in place, now we can start setting up our application with a Redux toolkit. Okay, and once we have installed all the dependencies up next, I want to set up the store. And you can think of store as the entire state for your application. So remember previously we used context API. Now in this case, we'll use toolkit and we'll set up the store. And the syntax is following where first we want to create store.js somewhere in the source. We want to import configure store function from the toolkit. And yes, in order to speed this up, I'll just reference it as toolkit. Please keep in mind that of course I'm talking about the Redux toolkit. And then in this function, we want to pass in the object. And in the object, there's going to be a reducer property, which is going to be object itself. And then in here, we'll set up our features. And I fully understand that. I mean, this can look somewhat fuzzy. Don't worry, as we start setting up the features, you'll see everything in action. So for the time being, just bear with me. And then once we have the store, we want to export that. And this is the case where you can export this as default. So the difference, of course, is just export default and then the store, or you can go with named export. And then we want to go back to index.js. We want to import store from the store file, as well as the provider from React Redux. Like I said, this is the library that connects Redux store or Redux to our application. And similarly to context API, we want to wrap our entire application. So we want to grab this provider, there's a store prop, and we just want to pass in the store coming from the store file. So let's get cracking. First, I'm going to go with store JS. In here, let's import configure store. So import, we're looking for configure store notice we right away I have a suggestion for that. And then let's set up that store. Like I said, at the moment, it might look somewhat funky, the moment we'll set up some features, it will make sense. So let's go here with const. And of course, I'm adding export as well, then store and that is equal to configure store, let's pass in the object, let's set up the reducer is an object itself. And for time being, 
it's going to be empty. And most likely we'll get the warning in a console. Don't worry about it. Again, all of this functionality is coming up. And then let's navigate to index.js. Let's import both of the things. Let's go with import, then store. And this is coming from the store file, of course. And also we want to get that provider. So import and then we're looking for provider. Now that is coming from React Redux. And now let's wrap our entire application. So let's say provider here. Let's close it out. Let's wrap our app. And then we want to set up a store prop and we want to set it equal to our store. And if nothing breaks, we are heading in the right direction. So then we can set up the slice. Again, like I said, if you see this warning, don't worry, we'll fix it in a second.